Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, August 5th of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move into this beautiful, positively positive energy, cranking up our relentless optimism and using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now. So remember, this is a collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a more personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment, and I look forward to meeting you. So let's move right on into the energy and see what the cards have to say. We've got a little bit of conflict or uh, even it could be a challenge just to, to for you to hold your ground while the, while the wave of of that energy passes. It's a very short-lived one. The five of wands doesn't mean a major event. It just means a little pushback and you just have to hold your ground. Then you've got the justice card, which is the Libra major arcana. And what it means is right decisions being made by you and for you. So things coming out in your favor. So hold the ground you've gained and don't let anybody uh, get you to, to let go or quit, right? As long as you stay in your energy of focused, beautiful, stubborn, <laughs> the stubborn energy of holding your ground and not letting anything cause you to have self-doubt or to give you a reason to uh, just drop it all together. Hold your ground and you, you'll you maintain this. It's like a speed bump. And it may even be something that's like a, a small challenge, like something you have to go dig around in, in, your, in your personal documents to find the the, you know, some kind of certification or even a, an old birth certificate, something like that. So it's it's a small thing, but just don't give up. Hold, hold on and do what it takes because it's coming out very well with this balanced energy of the justice card. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angel, archangel, divine, pure white light. And we have the hanged man energy reminding you, take a look at the bigger picture. Don't let yourself see things from the microscopic as far as putting your face on the canvas. Sometimes we need to back up and see how much bigger this thing really is. Uh, and that also allows us to have some idea of perspective of what, what we're doing and where we've been and where we're going. So this is that energy of meditation and bringing in the enlightened mind. So even if you're spending five minutes, it's better than nothing. And allow yourself to just be in that place of centered focus. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek <clears throat> to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards and our underlier is, <laughs> you know, you can't keep a good card down. <laughs> Here it is. So being in the right decisions, the right the right movement forward, love the justice card, allow yourself to move in this energy and be in a place of stability and focus and it all will come together as it should. Awareness. This is, you know, I don't know about you guys, but when I was 25, I wasn't thinking about all this stuff and, and you know, the, the energies that are, were around me. I was completely oblivious other than the little pieces I was getting because of my natural ability. Um, and that seems so disjointed. It was hard for me to control and I, and I wasn't fully in the flow, quote unquote. But the awareness is where we recognize those, those synchronicities and those opportunities that show up and that we know something bigger is working for us. So when you become aware, you notice more of it. When I focus on positive energy, I'm aware that I attract more of it. This is an absolute truth because you're putting yourself in the flow of it. And you're allowing yourself to move in that energy. It, it has to do with your belief that positive things happen all the time and that you are constantly in the essence of that energy of that you're creating yourself. So staying in the positive creation also helps you stay in the positive attraction. So let's see what else we have. 
Good fortune. We'll take a good fortune card. Hallelujah. We all love good fortune. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. Are you saying it's saying opportunity for the prospect means something that's showing up, but you have to sure it up. You have to go for it. It can pass you by if you don't reach out for it. So it's up to you to seize the day when it's time. And you'll know because those will align with you very quickly. Then we have our beautiful angel answers oracle cards in the near future. So good fortune is aligning in the near future. We'll take it. Thank you, universe. I believe it's all around us all the time. And being in this energy is certainly a worthwhile blessing. Allowing things to align with our realization here with the sacred geometric activation cards. Realization means bringing it into the now as it shows up in its whole form. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. If we could all become our highest expression or live up to our highest potential, right, and actually activate that energy, can you imagine what a world this would be? Everybody living at their highest realization of themselves? Oh, what a, what a blessing. Everyone would be walking in the energy and being a blessing to each other, which would be grand, wouldn't it? Let's let's just let's contemplate those kind of things coming in rather than the fear. And we're going to start off with creativity, which is part of the energy of believing and, and putting that out there. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow your inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. And so it is. Being in the energy of creativity is amazing and wonderful. And we have invitation. Everybody loves an invitation. We, your guardian angels, ask you to invite us into your heart. Talk to us at any time. Share with us your fears and concerns, as well as your joys and pleasures. There is no need to be formal, for we have known you before the dawn of time. In fact, we know you better than you know yourself. And we love you just as you are. And so it is. We receive that. And thank you, universe. Money in the bank. Four pinnacles. Money in the bank and financial security being given. Very strong energy of being able to be secure. We love this card. So here comes the abundance. Ready or not. And, of course, there's where we go. But I don't know where. And, and we start trying to figure it out on our own. And nobody's holding those swords. I want to point that out. Those swords are being held only by the person having those thoughts. And she's creating um, an illusion of the feeling of attack, but she's the one attacking. So we have to let go of our fear and realize that this only shows up right before a great big breakthrough. The nine of swords is the next card to the ten of swords. So that means you're right on the cusp of that breakthrough. And the nervousness that you're feeling is because the change that it it could indicates right there's a big change coming and that means you have to step out of the fear and into what you're going for regardless of of what your your self-talk is we have to be able to let that go and and do it anyway so that's my recommendation tell your self-talk hey um well we got to see what's going on because this is our option and we've got to move forward we're, we're, it's either grow or not grow and we're going to allow the growth and the Queen of Wands is feeling very stable in your ability to A, be in the fertile energy of new things happening, because that's what the wands are, is action happening. And it's a queen, so it's the fertility blossoming and blooming as she holds a little flower here and one in her hair. And the energy of making things happen with her ability to create. So... We saw creativity show up here. We saw realization here, the focused energy of 
everything coming into alignment, right decisions being made for you and by you as you step out of the fear and into the action of creating with all of this beautiful energy. Monday ought to be awesome. So I love you guys. I send you lots of love and light. And may you have a full heart for the creativity that you possess and be able to walk without fear. Even though fear shows up, we have to be able to shrug it off and know that nothing gets accomplished if we cower backwards from fear. We have to keep moving forward. So many blessings to you all, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.